Welcome to the future of television. Due to the abundance of mineral resources, the Democratic Republic of Congo should be one of the most prosperous countries in the African continent. Unfortunately, Congo's natural resources are not a blessing, but a curse. I am George Anton, and what you're about to see is real. And it's happening now. It's like the last line you draw to remind the past time. A fast mind, a feeling of freedom, please you be recognized. And I can hear doctors calling for the band of Congo. Starting the 1990s, once with the rise in demand of electronics, a new war has been born. The Coltan War. When Coltan is refined, it becomes a heat resistant powder that can hold a high electric charge. This is the new gold wanted by electronic manufacturers to build capacitors. Capacitors are used in consumer electronics products such as mobile phones, DVD players, video game systems, computers. I was married and I was pregnant. Rebel soldiers came and they raped me. They killed my baby and now I have a disease. Congo possesses 80% of the world's coal tan, financing a bloody conflict. Starving women and children are used as slave labor for mining. We're advocating a systemic change, uh, particularly in terms of um, government institutions. The Congolese uh, army uh, is in need of reform. The industrial electronics conglomerate corporations indiscriminately seek lower prices, engaging trades with the slave masters, armed terrorist militias. When the women and children get tired of mining, they get work breaks, consisting in a cup of water, malaria, combined with a session of rape and torture. Welcome to a new level of political conflict, corruption and horrific crimes. Uh, we have seen a continuing rise uh, in uh, the number of rapes uh, of women uh, in the uh, eastern uh, Congo. Congo's on this tipping point right now. Uh, it could very easily uh, fall back into chaos or it could move forward into recovery. It is all about mathematics of profits and billions of dollars for the few. Human life is irrelevant. This is not some conspiracy. It is documented that a corporate executive allowed the rebels to use his private jet in order to close a one billion dollars mining deal. We guess that one has to take the Congolese terrorist for a ride in a private jet and impress him with the riches, while the mining corporations pay few terrorists millions of dollars only to buy more guns. The average Congolese citizen lives with one dollar per day. Arrest and disarm the militia gangsters. Do not buy coltan from terrorists, as the money will only sponsor war against the defenseless population. We must pay a fair price on coltan and distribute the wealth to the population of Congo, building their infrastructure and education. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has postponed the rules that will force thousands of companies such as Hewlett Packard, Research in Motion and Apple Inc. to reveal the sources of metals such as coltan that they will use in mobile phones and other high-tech appliances. In other words, by using lobbyists to keep their sources of coltan secret from the public. We're putting 106 billion dollars a year into Afghanistan. More than a trillion went into Iraq. And frankly, uh, it would do America so much good uh, to be able to say to the world uh, that it's not just the war on terror and other kinds of things we care about. You are not buying blood diamonds? What about making sure those iPhones are not bloody either? You know what? Minimize the costs and maximize the profits. It's just business. Who gives a shit about Congo? This was a document brought to you by Anton Pictures. Don't forget.
forget to subscribe and check our channel's documentary section for more engaging content. Ha, 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 ha.